Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Review. Uh, today we have uh, a new beer for me. Uh, I have had some beers from this company, uh, Industrial Arts. Uh, the guy who started this used to work at Ithaca Brewing. Uh, he's a guy who is famous for uh, coming up with a recipe for Flower Power. Uh, I really like Ithaca. Obviously, I've talked about them a lot. I like Flower Power a lot. I'm about to get some fresh and uh, do a review. So this is an XPA. Uh, it's under 5%, yeah, 4.9% ABV. Uh, single malt. Uh, so I think it's supposed to, you know, try to showcase the hops. I don't think they're trying to make it too malty is my guess. Um, again, I haven't had this one. I've had other ones uh, from them. About to go outside and grill some fresh lake trout. So just a little pour before I go outside and uh, finish this beer as I grill. Uh, it's very hot today. Um, so it'll be nice to <laughs> cook outside. Um, this came at a, a local beer shop, Sam the Beer Man. Uh, my friend Bill went and grabbed a bunch of beer. And he was awesome enough to give me a can of each. And um, he's a great beer guy, so thank you, Bill. Uh, props to the beer man for getting something like this in. Uh, definitely looks like a, a light, almost like Pilsner, really. Uh, but definitely, uh, I, I could see how it's a, a pale ale or extra pale ale. Um, the carbonation went away, or the uh, head went away pretty quick. Carbonation's decent. Well, let's get into the aroma. You do get a lot of, of hop aromas. It, it does not sw smell overly sweet. You know, I get some berry, like strawberry specifically. Some citrus. <laughs> Making a mess. I haven't even had a drink yet today. <laughs> It definitely had citrus, some peel, grapefruit, lemon, a little bit of sweet, but more like the grapefruit lemon side. There is some sweetness there now that I smelled it for a while. It smells like really good. Definitely smells like a pale ale. Uh, let's get into the taste. Cheers. Nice hop bite, uh, reminiscent of lemon water. Definitely those citrus notes. A little bit of tart, um, like strawberries. So that, that does come through in the taste. Slight earth note. Definitely like a good sessionable beer. Again, it's under 5%, so being a hot day and when I'm grilling outside, this is going to be awesome to keep sipping on. Uh, I look forward to doing more from them. What I have had, including this one, is quite good. Um, I was just at Prison City over the weekend. Uh, I was kind of off the grid, hence me not posting a lot of videos lately. And I uh, went to uh, Prison City, and they had a collab, was it? They had one of theirs, because they do like uh, uh, guest taps and their own taps. I want to say they did a triple IPA. No, that would, no, never mind. I think of a different beer. What, I forget what they had. Anyway, it was quite good, whatever it was. That was the L. Smith and Pizza Boy who had a triple IPA. Anyway, uh, I've had a couple other ones. Good for the style. This is quite good. Very tasty. If you like that hop uh, bitterness, not overly bitter, but it's not like one of those New England juice bomb kind of things. So if that's all you're looking for, steer clear. You like, like a nice um, uh, light bitterness, uh, refreshing kind of a beer. Hot summer day. This is a winner. Thank you for watching. Always appreciate it. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.